So if you remember from last fall, I did a video on using POA constrictor to try and control POA annua in my backyard following uh, doing a renovation two years ago. Today I just kind of wanted to give an update on that and let you know how it went. So if you remember last year, I did a video where I was using POA constrictor to try and control a POA annual problem that I had. And while I thought I had it whooped, I really didn't. The first application I didn't see much as I showed in that video. The second and third application just weeks later, I mixed in uh, mesotrion with it. And I thought I had it whooped. I really did. I thought I had it completely gone. I was really happy with the result and and quite honestly surprised but then we went into winter and with the spring being much more wet and cold this year and not a whole lot of days of drying out i wasn't able to get a ethofumicate application in the spring as recommended by the label now prior to that though the poa annua came right back it seemed like it did absolutely nothing and I posted something in the community page uh, of the channel about a month or so ago with an update and one of you guys pointed out some studies done here in western Washington west of the Cascade Mountains where the timing is totally different with ethofumicate versus the label and that has to do with our weather patterns our soil temperatures stuff like that and it started to make a lot more sense as to why this didn't work so coming out of winter going into spring I was pretty disappointed with it. It's now the first week of July and it's still growing like crazy. And I expect that it's going to continue to grow all summer long. Now, unfortunately here uh, where I live, it's not like the rest of the country where Poa annual, uh, you know, being an annual bluegrass will die off in the summer heat and you can deal with a pre-emergent in the early fall to kind of deal with it. Well, that doesn't work here because we don't have consistent high temperatures to really kill the stuff off. It will grow all year round. So what I think I'm going to need to do is completely kill off this backyard yet again. Now I just renovated this two years ago, so I'm not really excited about doing it again, but it's not going to be as much work and I'll be sharing that with you. So be sure, sure to subscribe uh, so you can see that uh, in the coming weeks. But I think that's what I'm going to have to do is just wipe this out. There's way too much of it to try and control it. I think the uh, maturity of this plant is just way too mature for this stuff to work. So uh, I think it does work very, very well uh, in an early life stage of the plant. I've been using it in the front yard. After that renovation, I had a few small places of Poa annua come up, um, so much so that I probably don't even need to spray it. I just pull the stuff by hand, which is what I've been doing uh, mostly. However, I'm going to go ahead and use the ethofumicate up there to maybe try and control it let it work as a pre-emergent and not have the problems that I have back here. So that's the plan. Now I'm sure everybody's going to ask well, when, why, and you know, I kind of just went over the why, but when, well, I'm probably going to start killing this off really, really quickly. Um, our soil temperatures here in the Pacific Northwest hit that ideal seeding time in about five or six weeks. And that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, the next question from a lot of you will probably be, you know, what grass seed am I going to use? Well, I'm going to go with the MySoil Double Dark Green again. Uh, this year they have a new blend. It is now Blue Tag certified. Absolutely zero weed seed, zero noxious weeds, zero other crop. I'm really excited about this seed to see how it goes. What I'm going to do differently this time from two years ago. I'm going to try and plant this a little bit sooner uh, than I probably should. Um, it's just going to require some more watering and some and and some hoping that we don't get stupid crazy temperatures like we did last year of well over 110 degrees. But even if that happens, it's short, it's two or three days, and it's done. So I think that's the plan going forward. And then as soon as I possibly can, which is probably like the second or third mow of the new grass coming up, I'm going to have to get a pre-emergent out, and I'm going to have to get it out quickly. And I may, I'm going to have to research into this, but I may have to combine the ethofumicate with perdiamine and see if it really controls it. If I can get it to a manageable level, like I have the front yard, let the helicopter go by. So like I was saying, if I can get this to a more manageable point where I can just work on hand pulling or dealing with smaller spots, that would be fine. But of the 2,000 square feet back here, I'm willing to bet you 
1700 of it is probably Poe Annua. Now, doing some reading uh, with the comment that the, the guy left about how to deal with Poe Annua in the Pacific Northwest, it's basically hitting it uh, very frequently with tenacity and ethofumicate uh, in the month of July and doing smaller doses but very, very quickly, like days apart, and many of them. That's all good and dandy, but with ethofumicate and tenacity, I can't have the dogs out here, so it's not working with my wife. Um, she wants to be able to have the dogs out here as much as possible so that they're not roaming free in the front yard. Um, we can have them out here, so I kind of have to get that fine balance of making her happy. I'm sure most of you can relate to that. Um, she's not too thrilled about killing the backyard off either. However, uh, we're both kind of tired of looking at this mess back here. Uh, it doesn't show up really well on camera, but it, it looks terrible. The other thing I noticed too, and the reason why I'd rather just renovate it again, is there is probably five or six spots of poetriv. And the tenacity and ethofumicate is just not going to do anything for either one of those. So I think going forward, what I'm going to do is uh, stick with this plan, see how it works. I hope that you join me to see this process. And uh, if you haven't seen already, um, if you live in the Vancouver, Washington, Portland, Oregon area, I'm hosting a meetup uh, in a few weeks at the Killer Burger in Orchard, Washington, which is actually in Vancouver. I will come out with another video with a few more details on that, but it's going to be Saturday, August 13th at one o'clock. So if you can make it to that, that's great. Um, hang on to the end of this video and I will link to the announcement video for that. If you found any value in this video, make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.